the kitties come in to say hi. She might go take a nap now, but I asked her to come say hi to everybody and to say happy drawing. Are you excited that everybody's gonna draw today? Yeah, say hi to everybody. Say hi. Hi. You happy everybody's gonna draw? All right. Actually, I'm just gonna turn off the air conditioning one second. There we go. Now it's nice and quiet. You wanna sit here, Mona, so everybody can see you? Let's sit right here. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm trying to do this with a kitten. A little distracting. Oh, her tail's in the, in the frame. Hi, guys. <laughs> My name is Lori Richmond. I am a children's author illustrator and an artist, and welcome back to Friday Doodle Class. Today, we are gonna be drawing an evil cupcake, attack of the evil cupcake, because that's kind of how I'm feeling this week. Like some days I feel really happy, like I want to eat cupcakes, and other days like I don't really feel so happy, right? You guys don't feel happy all the time. Some days you're not happy, some days you're sad, some days you're mad. So I wanted to combine those two things. And I was like, what is like a super happy thing that we could pair with something that's opposite? And so Evil Cupcake, I think totally fits that, right? Don't you agree, Mona? Oh, Mona's licking me. Oh, oh. Let's say bye to everybody before you go take a nap. Say bye, everyone. Bye. Okay. I think Mona's gonna leave us now. But I have a special, special thing for you guys this week. So the book of the day, actually two books of the day, um, I'm calling the Pinky the Flamingo Book Bundle. So these are a series of picture books written by Michael Portis and illustrated by me. Um, the first one is called Pinky Got Out. And the follow-up is called Pinky Crashes the Party. Maybe they had cupcakes at this party, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna give these books away to one lucky artist who is joining the class today, whether that's live or maybe from the replay. Um, but if you send your drawing to me um, within 24 hours of the live class, so by noon tomorrow, you will be entered to win this book bundle. I will send it to you at no cost to you and will support the US Postal Service. Um, and Mona is gonna pick the winner. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet, but I'm gonna make sure that she's the one that picks the winner. All right, so let's get started. Um, before we begin, materials check, right? So first we're gonna make sure we have something to draw on. I have my pad here. I am gonna be using for color today my favorite handy dandy travel paint thing. I just love this thing. It's so easy, the colors are nice and bright. I'm just gonna keep going with it. So this is what I'm gonna paint with today. Um, I brought a palette with me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it, but hey, it's here just in case. I have two brushes. I have this big flat brush and I have this smaller, but still kind of big round brush. See how brushes can come in different shapes depending on what you wanna paint. So I have two choices there. I have my water, of course, because I need that to activate my watercolor paint. And I am also sticking with this new favorite, the King Size Sharpie, right? I mean, if, if there's a material that you like, just use it all the time. You don't have to switch it up if you don't want to. Um, okay, so I am going to move on the other side of the table. I'm gonna disappear for just a second, and then I will reappear like magic with my pad. Okay, so is everyone ready to draw Attack of the Evil Cupcake? All right, so grab your drawing tool. For me, it's gonna be my king size Sharpie. And the first thing that we're gonna draw is the Evil Cupcake. And we're gonna draw it tilted a little bit to the side. So you'll see as I'm putting the pieces together, it's not gonna look like the cupcake is straight, it's gonna look like it's a little bit tilted. And that's because that's how um, I want it to look in the end scene, but you'll see what I mean as we go along. So the first line, oh, my chair is stuck on the table. The first line, can you guys see that? Good. That we're gonna draw is the top of the cupcake, which is just like a half circle. So I'm gonna draw a half circle that looks like that. And see if it's like a little tilted to the side, that's how you should draw yours too. So that's the top part of our cupcake. And then for the bottom part of the cupcake, I'm gonna kind of make it look like this has lots of icing on this cupcake, and it'll be kind of like a little wavy line at the bottom. So I'm gonna make a little curve like this on one end of the cupcake and a little curve like that. 
almost looks like a bald head with some ears right now, right? So I'm gonna connect those two little bumps that I made with a wavy line, kind of like that. And that is gonna be the icing top part of our cupcake. Everybody have that? All right, now we're gonna make the bottom part of the cupcake. That's like the little paper that you peel off, you know, when it comes out of the, out of the pan. So I'm gonna make two slanted lines like that, kind of coming in towards each other. One's going in, this one's going in, and then I'm gonna connect them at the bottom, like that, with a straight line, or a kind of straight line. My line's a little not straight, but that's okay. We're just gonna keep going, right? That's what we do, we keep going. All right, we've got our cupcake shape. Now we're gonna add the evil face, right? Because right now our cupcake doesn't look evil enough. So let's start with the eyes. I'm gonna make two dot eyes, just a very simple shape like that. Right, and it still doesn't look evil enough, right? I would not be scared of this cupcake. Now we're gonna start adding the evil, evil details. I'm gonna make some angry eyebrows. And you can make angry eyebrows on a, and on a line that's sort of tilted in to the center. So you see how good is that, that mean looking face? And now for the mouth, we are gonna make some zigzag lines and color in that mouth like that. See how that's looking a little, now, now it's looking a little angry and evil. There we go. That is an angry cupcake. This, this cupcake is my spirit guide of 2020, guys. You know what I'm saying? I know you can relate. Okay, so we have our zigzag angry mouth and now, um, just because it's funny, like we're still gonna decorate this cupcake, right? with some maybe non-evil decorations. So I'm gonna put a cherry on top of my cupcake, a little circle with a stem, and some, and some leaves, and then maybe some sprinkles. Or I know some people call them jimmies in, in other parts of the country. We don't call them that here in New York. We call them sprinkles, or at least I call them sprinkles. But you can decorate the top of your cupcake however you want, put some cute little things on there for this evil cupcake. And now we're gonna give our cupcake some like evil arms, like ah, like the cupcake is kind of doing this, um, making a mad face and, and putting the arms in the air. So um, in evil cupcake, I'm gonna give them skinny arms just cause I think it looks funnier. So I'm gonna draw one arm up like that and another arm like this. So very simple lines are gonna be our angry cupcake arms or evil cupcake arms. And then I'm just gonna add in little kind of mitt shaped hands like that. See, we're, we're getting this. Um, oh, I'm seeing lots of laughing emojis. Awesome. All right, now we're gonna add some skinny legs on this angry cupcake, this evil cupcake. So I'm gonna put one leg that goes like this, and then I'm gonna put another leg that's shaped like this, and you'll see why in a minute, okay? So this, <laughs> this is looking super wacky right now, right? Okay, so I want this evil cupcake to be like destroying something. Maybe it's destroying the city, right? It's just coming in and it's like, I am an evil cupcake and I'm taking over the city. So we are gonna draw some buildings that this cupcake is smashing down, like Godzilla style. So underneath this, this leg, the, the leg that we made that's straight, I'm gonna put a straight line like this and that's gonna kind of be the top of the first one of the buildings that we're gonna draw. So I'm moving these things so I got my room for my elbow. All right, so I'm gonna draw two lines down like that and that's gonna kind of be the first shape of one of the buildings in the skyline that the evil cupcake is going to be destroying. And then I'm gonna make another, I'm gonna make another long line here. See, I just kind of like extended the line that was already there. And now I'm gonna make one next to it, but it's not gonna be the same length as this one. I'm gonna make it a little shorter. See like that? Because the top of this is gonna be like crumbled. So I'm gonna make a, almost looks like the cupcake took a bite out of it. It's like ripped off, right? So this um, side here, we are gonna make a slanted line like this and another, zigzag line like that 
pull it down like this and go like that. So it looks like the cupcake stood on that building and just smushed it down, right? So we'll put another line here. Maybe it smushed the building next to it. And then we'll draw another building here. Maybe this one is a little taller. Maybe this one almost looks like the Empire State Building with the spire at the top, like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some details in to these buildings. So um, when I draw buildings, I like to make windows. And sometimes I make windows. Hopefully you guys are still there. All right, so we have these little windows on here like this. And then sometimes I make them like square. So just go through your buildings that you've made on your skyline and just add in some windows across all these buildings. And the one that's slanted, you can make the windows kind of going to the side because this building was just totally smushed over by this evil cupcake attacking the city. I, some of my windows are even gonna look maybe like they're broken. They're all messed up. Sometimes I also just use lines for window details. Like that, it doesn't have to be super perfect. And then here too, I'm gonna put some detail in this building like that. So add all kinds of details to your city skyline that is being attacked by this evil, evil cupcake some more windows here so I'm gonna kind of make my skyline flow off the page so it looks like it's really like a big city that this um, evil cupcake is destroying and now up in this hand here this maybe this the top of this building that got ripped off I'm gonna draw it up here in the hand of this cupcake so this cupcake ripped the top of that building off and is just like totally waving it in the air like ah, right I wonder what this evil cupcake is so angry about hmm that's a whole other story we could write um, and now in this hand because we had Mona come in here um, for a little cameo I think we're gonna make Mona was like kidnapped by this evil cupcake but you know what Mona's not afraid of anything she probably wants the angry cupcake the evil cupcake to just pet her and give her hugs because that's how Mona is, she's not afraid of anything. So I'm actually gonna make a little happy Mona up here because she's like, wow, this awesome cupcake has come to pet me. Not, not be, make me afraid, but pet me. So we're gonna make a little happy Mona with her happy tail with the angry cupcake. Look at that, totally make, this totally makes sense right here. Awesome. So this looks so funny, guys. I think it's time to add some color. So I'm gonna put away my king size Sharpie and I'm gonna pull out my paints, my handy dandy paint thing. And you pull out your crayons or your colored pencils or whatever materials that you are using for color today. I've got my water here. And so let's start by filling in our cupcake. So I am going to make a pink cupcake, I think. And so I'm gonna add some water to my red paint and I'm gonna start filling in the icing on my cupcake. Maybe it's like strawberry icing. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint that in. So you guys go ahead and start coloring in your cupcake. Make it whatever color you want. Maybe yours is a lemon flavored cupcake and it's yellow. I'm gonna make mine that pink color. And then while I have my red, I'm gonna paint that bright red cherry in there. Oh, I got some drips. You see that drip happening? This is what happens with watercolor sometimes. It's called a happy accident. That's what Bob Ross would say. And it's totally right. So I am gonna continue with my red. I'm gonna make some of my sprinkles red here. And then I'll go back and I'll add more color when I, when I move to the next color. Um, but next I'm gonna use yellow for the paper on my cupcake. I'm gonna give it some yellow paper. And yellow actually is a nice bright color for this angry, evil cupcake face. 
give it a bright color because the color that you use can add to the emotion of the piece. So that's something to think about when you're choosing color. You can think about how does this color make, you know, make me feel yellow. I actually think is kind of a happy color, isn't it? But it's also like bright and bold and in your face. And that also fits the emotion of this character. So I think in this case it works. Um, but red, you know, would be a good one here too, because red can be an angry color. Cool. So I have filled that in. And while I still have my yellow, I'm going to go and I'm going to add some yellow sprinkles all around. And I'm going to take some green for the leaves on my little cherry guy up there at the top of my cupcake. So whatever colors you need to use to paint whatever you decorated your cupcake with, you can go ahead and, and do that. So there I didn't want it to drip, so I actually just took a little piece of paper towel, it's my watercolor, and I just dabbed it. And I took some paint off the page. Um, this way it won't, it won't drip so much. It's hard to use watercolor when the pad is up and down. Usually the pad would be flat on the table, so. But, you know, we just go with it. So I'm gonna add some green here to my sprinklies. Look at this fun, it's so fun that the cupcake has fun decorations but a mean angry face. I just think that's so funny when you have something that's so opposite. All right, time to color in our buildings. So now if you wanna go kind of a realistic route for your buildings, you can use shades of gray, you can use shades of blue. Um, if you wanna go a more wild route, you can make them whatever color you want. So I'm gonna mix up kind of like a bluish gray here on the side and I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding it to my buildings and you can paint right over the windows you don't have to worry about like leaving the windows and painting them later you can just paint right over them because we're just gonna give the indication here of this of this skyline and it's nice if you vary the color of each building a little bit so not they're not all exactly the same so here, um, this one's like a little bit more of a blue gray. This one's more of a true, a true gray. True and blue, it rhymes. Didn't plan it, but that's how it worked out. All right, so here we go. This one's like a little bit of a darker, darker gray. Then I'm just filling in there. Look at that. I hope everybody was at home when this cup things while this thing is going around. So I have a question actually that maybe some people can DM me or leave some comments. I noticed that since Instagram has changed some of their um, interface that um, when I am live, sometimes like my phone, it's going to sleep and I don't understand why. So if somebody can tell me like why that happens that would be awesome because I have no idea why that happens. <laughs> so I have to keep tapping it so I don't lose you guys. Um, all right, here we go. So keep going ahead and filling in that skyline. We are almost done filling in these gray buildings. Look at this. Well, you know what? I actually could use my big brush for this, but I already have this little brush going, so I'm just gonna stick with it. But sometimes when you have a big area like this that you want to paint and you want to do it quickly, it's a good idea to use the, the bigger brush because it's just easier. Make your life easier by using materials that match what you're trying to do. All right, cool. So we've got that building. I've got one more building to fill in here. That's this one. I'm going to put that on the side here. Great. So I've got my whole skyline here. Oh, wait, I forgot this part. This part of the building. So I am going to paint this top part of this building. Here we go. There we go. So this is looking good, you guys. So I'm gonna fill in Mona now. I'm gonna make my little gray Mona up here. My little gray Mona who is waiting to get pets from this crazy, crazy, cupcake here. And the last thing I'm going to do is fill in a sky. 
I'm gonna take a nice turquoise color for my sky and I'm just gonna go back here and paint in this background. This nice gray or blue teal. My gosh, you guys, what a week. It's Friday, I don't even know my colors anymore. All right, but you can make a gray sky too. Maybe it's raining on the day that this evil cupcake shows up, and that's fine. Yep. right? Maybe it's not a, a bright sunny blue sky. Maybe it is a gray sky. What do I know? It's your painting. You can do whatever you want. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in. This is looking really, really funny, you guys. Look at this. I can almost hear the growling of this angry cupcake rumbling through the city, right? Oh my gosh, what would you do if you saw one of these cupcakes coming and smashing through your town? where you live, like what would you do? Would you run? Would you go and take photos and post it on your Instagram stories? <laughs> what would you do? I don't know what I would do. I would definitely take photos because I feel like nobody would believe me, right? Sure. Nobody would believe me that I saw a giant cupcake coming smashing through Brooklyn. Maybe on Halloween somebody would believe that, but not on a regular day. Then again, guys, it is 2020 where anything is possible, so you never know. All right, so I'm almost done filling in this awesome sky on this angry, evil cupcake who has come to wreak havoc on this city here. Look at that. Awesome. This We are going to come up with some great stories about this character, <laughs> for sure. Yes, love this one. One is like flames or something in the background, like maybe as the, you know, as the, um, the cupcake is going through, maybe there's some like flames here coming out. We could really, really make it look destructive here. This is gonna be some pretty realistic. It's almost like an action movie now. That's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna make a children's book. We're gonna make an action movie about this crazy cupcake guy. So you can go add all kinds of crazy details into your, your piece. But I love this. I think this is so fun because we've been drawing happy characters every week, right? And I said in the class where we drew facial expressions, where we drew facial expressions on the cat, that emotion is such an important part of a story. And a character doesn't have the same emotion all the time. They could start happy, they could become sad, they can get scared, they could become happy again. They kind of go through um, what's called an arc of emotion through a story. So maybe this piece of the story is when the cupcake is angry. You know, maybe the cupcake turns, turns nice at the end. We don't know. Um, but that's the story you guys are gonna have to write when you're done with your piece. Um, thank you so much again for drawing with me today. Please send in your drawings, and if you do it within 24 hours of this class, so by noon tomorrow on Saturday, um, which I think is August 15th, yep, you'll be entered to win this pinky book bundle. So don't miss out, it's such a cool deal, and Mona's gonna pick the winner. So send me your drawings, I will post them. Thank you again, you guys, and have a great weekend. And watch out for this cupcake. Run the other way if you see it coming through your town, okay? All right, bye.